Hey guys, so just a quick little video on how to reconstitute um, anything really that you're using. Uh, this is HGH, um, human chorionic gonadotropin. You could be using this for, um, you know, who knows, lots of, lots, of, lots of compounds that you get from compounding pharmacies are going to come in crystal form and they need to be um, reconstituted with bacteriostatic water. Um, to return them to a liquid form for whatever type of injection that you're going to be using them for. So pretty simple. Um, the thing that usually confuses most people about this is the math. Um, if it says, usually there's directions, uh, there should be a little card in the bag that your pharmacy gave you or an email or something, and that will uh, that'll tell you what the, uh, what the amount of bacteriostatic water or saline basically um, that you're supposed to use. So for this, uh, just imagine that your uh, prescription uh, required uh, one ml or uh, one cc of uh, bacteriostatic water. So this is a one ml syringe. Um, maybe you've got a syringe that looks, uh, that looks different than this. Um, this one has uh, tenth marks all the way up to the one ml. Uh, one ml and one cc are the same. If if your prescription requires a 2 ml or 3 ml or 4 or 5 or 6 or whatever, um, it'll say on there and they should provide you with uh, either a 5 ml syringe or a 10 ml syringe um, that'll accommodate the, uh, you know, the amount of fluid that you need. You shouldn't have to pull six times with this, but worst case scenario, you, you know, if you need 5 mls, you would just pull uh, five uh, separate times up to the 1 ml mark. So pretty simple math. Um, first thing is keep it sterile, wipe down the top of your bacteriostatic water, a little alcohol, same thing with uh, whatever it is that you're injecting. All right, another important tip, don't touch the tip of the syringe. It's sterile when it comes out of uh, the packaging. Um, you might have gotten a package that has the needle already attached to the syringe. In that case, then you just have you know, one less step than this. Um, so you just connect them. There's going to be uh, somewhat of a vacuum inside the bacteriostatic water. So you're going to pull in a little bit of air. You're going to inject your bacteriostatic water, put the air in, all right, and then you just draw from it. Now I'm using an 18 gauge needle, which is probably bigger than whatever they gave you, so it goes a little quicker, but um, you know, even if it takes a little longer, it's not a big deal. Just go ahead and get it right down to one ml. Make sure there's make sure there's no air bubbles, so you're not losing any volume. Pop that out. Now, usually, so this one's not vacuumed anymore. This is just, this is an old one. This isn't actively have any HGH in it, or uh, HCG, excuse me, not HGH. But um, so usually, what'll happen is once you pierce the top and put your needle in, um, this, it'll automatically suck the fluid in because of the vacuum inside the HCG uh, container. But for mine, it's not. So uh, all you do is you just push it in there, pop it out, dispose of all that, and then just swirl it real lightly. Um, make sure to read the directions because certain compounds, you have to let them sit for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, some are ready to go instantly. HCG is ready to go instantly. Um, but you just give it a little swirl. This one, HCG specifically, has to be um, refrigerated, so make sure you read the instructions. If it needs to be refrigerated, find out what temperature. Um, you know, if not, you know, just make sure you keep it in a, a cool, dry place. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just comment below.